Okay, we're going to talk about this term extrema, which is a new one for you. Um, we've talked about maximums and minimums in quadratics, but we haven't talked about this term extrema. Um, so extrema are just the locations of maximums or minimums. High points and low points is another way of thinking about it. So um, in the future, we're going to study functions that do crazy things like, for example, you might have a function that does this kind of a thing, right, where it's got lots of up and down, ups and downs. And so this function would have two different maximums, local maximums we'll call them, two different local minimums. And so all of those points, this, 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 and this are all called extrema. Extrema can be plural. So it's just locations on a graph where something interesting happens, where there's a high point or a low point. Um, so for the parent functions, that's going to be relatively straightforward. You already know with the quadratic that this one, because it opens up, it has a minimum. Um, and so the extrema is just that there is, there's only one on this. Again, we're not going to see functions like this until a little bit later. Um, so there's one extrema, but again, there could be more in other situations. And the extrema is that there is a minimum at 0, 0. And so you're just determining where it's happening, as opposed to when we studied quadratics. And I might have asked you to tell me the vertex, sure. But then I might have said, what's the minimum value of the function? And that's just the minimum y value, which is 0. Or you solve um, you know, a word problem that had a maximum, and I said, what's the maximum value of this function? And so you would say what that value or that y value was. Here, we're talking about the location. We're talking about extrema. Um, so you'll be using that word a lot moving forward. So make a note of it, write it down, look it up if you need to, but hopefully that is helpful. Thanks.